Ripple and I uh, helped kind of facilitate this year's Fulton County Adult Leadership Academy. Uh, moving forward, I'll actually um, get to run that um, program. So um, this year we had a group that was super passionate about bringing a story walk um, into Fulton County. And this is just the beginning um, as far as story walks go in our county. So um, every year the Leadership Academy breaks off into four or five different groups, two to three, three to four people in every group, and really focus in on community service oriented projects that they try to accomplish throughout the year. So the Story Walk was one of the more successful ones, I will say, of this year. And I'm gonna let Mindy really describe to you all what a Story Walk is and the opportunity that it brings to our community members. So I'm Mindy Beckett. I am the Community Wellness Coordinator with Purdue Extension, and I was part of the Leadership Academy this year and part of this group. Uh, we're missing one person, Gina Hurlmeyer, who is with Caston School. She wasn't able to come today. <clears throat> but we, um, the idea came up about a story walk. So what is a story walk? So you can see that there are 20 little um, stations around this little pathway that each station has two pages to the book. So those of you who haven't had a chance yet, you can go around and as you stop at each station, you'll be able to read two pages of the book. And um, there's also some sort of a prompt for some sort of um, conversation or physical activity or things like that that families can do together as they read the story. Um, this story is also bilingual um, because we wanted it to be inclusive for as many families as possible and encourage everyone um, to feel comfortable coming out and reading a book. So this has two sides to it. One is a literacy side and the other is a physical activity side. And so we know that when we can get people out of the house and out walking around, even though this may not be a lot of cardio, um, it's still an opportunity to walk. The idea is once you're out here, perhaps you wanna walk the rest of the trail and, and things like that. And as Jessica alluded to, this is not um, the only story walk that will be in Fulton County. We have secured funding, um, thanks to the Community Foundation and the Fulton County Public Library, to put three more story walks in Fulton County. They will be located in Talma, Leiters Ford, and Kiwana. And so the idea, again, is to make sure that everyone in the community has the opportunity um, to get outside, be physically active, to do things as a family, and to um, hopefully gain a love of reading um, as they get older. So those are, will, will be coming um, hopefully within the next year. Um, and so the public library is the one who will uh, keep the books rotated throughout this and so this book will eventually go to another community so every community will have um, access to all of the books and we plan for all of the books to be bilingual again so that we can make it as inclusive as possible for the Northern Indiana Community Foundation here in town. I'm Andrea Steinbach. I'm the director of the Fulton County Public Library. I'm Mindy Duckett. I'm the Community Wellness Coordinator with Purdue Extension for Fulton and Miami County. I am Cora Alvar. I work at Beacon Credit Union. Okay, so our group project was a story walk in Fulton County. Um, I, I had seen story walks in other cities, other counties, and I thought they were really neat, and I thought it would be a good addition to Fulton County. So I got with Jessica and Mark and mentioned it to them, and they thought it was a good idea, so they brought it up to the entire class, and there were some takers. <laughs> <laughs> and it turned out Mindy had previous experience with Story Walks, so it was, you know, a perfect collaboration with our group. And that's something that, like Mindy brought it up earlier, that's really cool about Story Walks is like it's not just physical activity, it's you know mental wellness, it's family bonding, it's uh, working on literacy. There's just a lot of different angles and benefits to a Story Walk, so you're pretty excited about it. All right, so um, I guess our, we had to start with, you know, what are we going to do first? We have to order the post and the frames and who's going to dig the holes? Um, 
dates and all of that, so I uh, volunteered my dad to help us out with the <laughs> digging of the holes for the post, so shout out to him. Um, and then we all just came out here one day and got started, and um, these guys set up with um, the people, the right people, to get it all marked out for us so we knew where to dig at, and here we are. We are fortunate at the foundation that um, we have a fund that promotes literacy called the Marion Dyer Literacy Fund. Um, and, you know, this is just a part of her legacy and her fund that we were able to, the foundation was able to help fund this specific story walk. And we're excited that we could help fund two, three additional story walks in Fulton County. This isn't your, uh, your only one, right? You're planning on many more? We have three more. And Mindy, you want to? Yep, there will be uh, three more story walks around um, Fulton County. Uh, they will be in Leiters Ford, in Talma, and in Kiwana. And each of the stories will um, be at each of the story walks throughout the year. So um, every, every part of the county will have the opportunity to see each of the stories that we prepare. The process of finding the book. I literally googled bilingual storybooks <laughs> because it's surprisingly difficult to find bilingual storybooks that are good quality. Um, so I stumbled across this one and I thought, you know, it was beautiful. It tells a wonderful story about the monarch butterflies. So, and I thought it was the perfect, you know, theme for summer because I knew we were going to install it in the summer. So by the books being bilingual it makes it accessible to everyone in the community um, and, and encourages um, everyone to be able to come out and enjoy them. You also mentioned in the uh, ribbon cutting that you're going to be able to change the stories mm -hmm. so you can actually do you have to like remove the whole top of it and then change it out or? Yes you can... there's actually two screws that hold the bottom part of the frame in and we pull it out and we can create these. Um, we actually cut storybooks apart, glued them to big cardstock, mm. and laminated them at the Purdue Extension office. So they're laminated and they're also in a double acrylic frame. So, so it's something that can continually yes. evolve? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can take your butterflies from the summer and then you can, you yes. can make a winter story out of it. Yes. And yeah. it, and it will be, I mean, we've done it once now, so it's going to be easier too. So right. <laughs> it was a little trying at first, but, but I think, you know, we, we did a good job, I think. Yeah. And for anybody that's not uh, aware, uh, you know, FCLA, Fulton County Leadership Academy, you know, I was in your class, so it was really neat. But talk a little bit about that whole process, because that's, uh, that's something if you haven't done, that uh, you should really do it, because it's, it's a great program, isn't it? Oh yeah, I, I think it's, it was great. I, I've met a lot of awesome people. <laughs> you get to learn about the community, go places you've probably never even heard of or know what they do and you get to go tour and just learn so much more about the community that you had no idea about. That was my biggest takeaway from it. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of manufacturing places yeah. in, in the county that didn't realize quite what they did. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. It's a great uh, program. And, uh, they have one for adults and they also have a, a youth leadership academy as well. So if you have a, a student, I don't what are the ages, Mindy, do you know? I don't know. It's high school, but I don't know if it's like... Uh, perhaps sophomores? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was really cool to get an inside look in a lot of it organizations. To to Kiwana, Rochester, mm -hmm. Akron, like just to go to all the different areas of 